to my good old sis virtual world she keeps saying oh i'm craving a peach cobbler i really want a peach cobbler i'm like you know what? i was supposed to make this peach cobbler for thanksgiving but we have way too many desserts so i'm like you know what i'm gonna just make it now y'all this is one of the legit best peach cobbler recipes out there you may look at all these biscuit recipes and all this homemade crust yeah 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 yada yada this is quick simple and legit I'm telling you, you really don't need much. All you need is some store-bought pie crust, which I have right here, Pillsbury. You need some heavy cream. I have some nutmeg, some ground cinnamon. I have three cans of sliced yellow peaches in heavy syrup. You wanna make sure you get them in heavy syrup. I have some sweet cream butter and some sugar. That's pretty much all you need for this recipe. Now y'all, what makes this recipe easy is because the pre-made pie crust is already rolled out for you, as you can see. So all you have to do is take it out the pack. We're gonna spray our pan with a little bit of our non-stick butter, and this is gonna be our bottom crust for the peach cobbler. And that's for those of you that like a little bit more crust, you really don't have to do a bottom, but I like mine a little crust. So we're just gonna make sure we get that nice and coated. And we're gonna get one of these out of our pack and put it right in the bottom of our pan. You guys, you may have to roll it out a tad bit, but all you have to do is take your rolling pin. I had to roll mine out a tad to fit the bottom of this pan. But if you're using a smaller pan, you might not have to roll it out. But as you can see, we have the bottom pie crust in. You wanna make sure it's coming up your edge just a tad. It's, you don't have to do anything perfect. And we're gonna set this in our oven on about 350 for about Mm, five to 10 minutes, just until it's slightly brown at the bottom. You don't want raw dough at the bottom, so you wanna make sure you cook this crust first. So we're gonna get this in our 350 oven for about five to 10 minutes. Medium saucepan, I have this at about a medium heat. What I'm gonna do is add about a quarter stick of the sweet cream butter, and that's just gonna go into our peach mixture. So quarter stick of butter to the pan. Get that swirled around, you know. All right. And we're gonna add in our peaches. And what we're gonna do with these peaches, you're gonna add the first two cans, the whole entire can. So the first two cans, you're gonna add all the peaches and all the juice. And then for your last can, you're going to drain the juice and just simply add the peaches in. And the reason for that is we don't want too much juice in our cobbler. We wanna make it, you know, a, a little thick because I don't like the cornstarch thing. So I'd rather not add cornstarch to my peaches. But you can if you want, that's up to you. As I said, I'm just giving you the baseline. You can always alter any recipe you want. Mine's is no better than anyone else's. Psych. <laughs> this is the best one yet y'all this is the best one yet so while our peaches are cooking in our pan we're going to add in about a tablespoon of ground cinnamon i like a lot of cinnamon y'all and you can do less or more it's up to you and what you're also going to add is a little bit of nutmeg and i'm just going to say a few dashes of this because i really don't know how much so maybe about three or four dashes. Another ingredient I like to use is heavy cream. Now this also gives it a very rich flavor and also makes it very thick. This is why I avoid the cornstarch also. So I got my heavy cream in there. And I'm gonna add about two cups of sugar. Normal people put one cup of sugar, but I'm not normal. I like mine to be sweet. So I'm gonna go two cups of sugar. This is just granulated white sugar. A lot of people add brown sugar, you can, but I'm not, so hey. All right. 
And this is pretty much all, all you gotta do with the peaches. We're gonna let these simmer on the stove. And a lot of people put these in the oven and let them cook, but I like mine to simmer on the stove on a very low heat because it gives the peaches a really, really thick, rich taste. So we're just gonna let these simmer. Yeah, look at this already. Like, look how the flavors are just infusing. Oh my goodness, you know what? I forgot the most important thing, you guys. We need to add some lemon juice to this. Who am I to do this? What's happening? So you guys, this is a very crucial key to peach cobbler. And actually a lot of desserts. Like I told you about cutting the sweetness with a little acidity. You guys have no clue how far that lemon juice is gonna take this recipe up a notch. So now, now we got this going. Mm, I'm ready. We're gonna let that simmer. And I'm gonna show you how to assemble the top crust for the cobbler. See, simple and easy, you guys. All you gotta do for your top crust is basically roll it out with flour and you'll crumble it up. And you'll get this texture right here. And we're just gonna lay these pieces right on the top of our cobbler. And the reason why I crumbled the top crust is so we can get that flaky texture as you see on most peach cobblers. I meant to tell y'all, we also need to add vanilla flavoring to this recipe. So off camera, I added about a tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract. Um, our peaches are pretty much where we want them to be. You wanna make sure they don't get too soft. They wanna have a good crunch to them also. So that's pretty much the consistency. If y'all knew how good these peaches smell. Let me get a slow-mo for y'all. So we have our delicious peaches ready to go. And all we're going to do is scoop some of these right over into our baked crust. As you can see, it's pretty golden and our crust at the bottom is pretty much done. And that's how you want it to be. And you guys are gonna scoop our peaches right on over. And I have a slotted spoon. And the reason I'm using a slotted spoon is because I wanna control the amount of juice that goes into the peach cobbler. So I usually just pour the juice on at the end. So we're gonna get these into our pan. Get those right on in there. Wow. The aroma coming from these peaches. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I tell you. I could tell y'all some things. But right now, I'd rather just teach y'all some things. Or isn't that the saying? I could teach you some things? How does it go? You know, babe? Probably not. Y'all, babe is decorating our windows right now, so he ain't paying me no mind. I could teach you some things. Y'all, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, yummy. Virtual world, sis, I know you watching this video. I know your mouth is watering. Look at this. Peaches is at the perfect texture. I just gotta make sure I get all the peaches out, y'all. You, you don't want no peach left behind. So if you gotta chase them in the pan, you chase them bad boys. No peaches left behind. You want all you can get. All right, now that I got that in there, this is how you control the amount of juice that you add to your peaches. So we're just going to take our pan with our leftover peach juice and we're just gonna pour that over our peaches. Not too much, y'all. Just a small amount to give it some flavor. That's pretty much enough. Roll that around. And now for the fun part. We're just going to take our crumbled up crust that we crushed up and we're going to lay it all over the cobbler. No specific order, you guys. Just lay it wherever you want to lay it. It's all going to bake together and form a nice flaky, crumbly, delicious peach cobbler crust. You've seen it here first, y'all. <laughs> 
You seen it here first. Nah, I know I got some other cooks on my channel. I'll be watching them. I'm like, oh, they be doing the darn thing. Some of our recipes look familiar. You can tell when a person can really cook when your recipes start looking familiar. You be like, what? I be doing that same thing. It's all in the mind. All right, y'all. We got our crust pretty much spread it out. And now what we're going to do is basically just lay our butter. And I cut my stick up. I cut it in half. And then I cut it in half again, if that makes sense to you. So what we're going to do is, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm working with one hand again. We're going to lay our butter all around this peach cobbler, like one by one. And it may seem time consuming, but you'll get it together. Now that we have our butter, our crust, and our peaches in the pan, we're going to finish it off with a little ground cinnamon. And this is going to give your peach cobbler a beautiful color on top. And also that shebang, that extra shebang, y'all. We're going to go over with a little nutmeg. And once again, this is optional. And we're going to go over with a little granulated sugar. And that's just to give it that sweet texture at the top. All right. Make sure I miss nowhere. And now we're going to get this bad boy into the oven and let it bake. 350 for about 20 minutes, I'll say. Just until your top crust is brown. All right, y'all, look at this finished product. As you can see, it's still bubbling. But look at this bad boy. I'm about to scoop some vanilla ice cream on top of this, and we're going to try it out. See how flaky that crust is? The aroma in this kitchen is kicking right now. Yeah, and me. What's really good, YouTube? It's your girl, KK, and I'm back, y'all. Happy freaking <laughs> holidays i don't care which holiday it is thanksgiving christmas kwanzaa mm -hmm. new year's mm -hmm. eve whichever one it is just make sure you have a happy holiday Thank me and babe you. are here because of course we're already ready to celebrate as y'all can see we got our tree decorated because i told y'all the next my time work, i come back work. i decorated the my tree my work my work i told y'all the next time i come back mm -hmm. the tree won't look so dead so if babe just scoots his body over just a tad you guys can see how beautifully decorated it is I'm my also work, work. I'm also going to insert a quick little clip so you guys can see um, us decorating our windows and Dang, our stockings. Y'all see who's going to work. Can you stop cutting me off? I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> Anywho, y'all, like I was saying, I'm going to insert a clip so you guys can see how beautiful our decorations are in our house. Look at hubby over there doing the windows. Just want to give you guys a quick little glimpse. How cute is this? I have to show y'all from the outside, but... How cute is it? Oh, work your magic, babe. We have our beautiful tree up. Give you guys a quick little glimpse. Just a small, small glimpse. We have our stockings. How cute is it, y'all? Babe is really good at decorating. Let's see if I could give you guys the full view. How cute, y'all. How's your decorations coming out? And today we're eating something quick. This video won't even be long because the cooking process obviously Two took seconds. up a lot of your time. So we're just going to get right to it. We have our delicious peach cobbler. Y'all, I'm talking about delicious. We got some vanilla ice cream, as you can see on top. So what we're going to do is say a quick prayer, obviously. Get our thumbnail, and we're just going to get right to it. Let's get it. Amen. Amen. And for those of you that are new here, make sure you drop down, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time we drop a banger. I see a lot of people doing like the 25 days of Christmas, Vlogmas, all that stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my channel for Christmas, but we'll get there. For those of you that are rocking with me, give this video a big thumbs up. Support your girl. And for those of you that don't want to give me a thumbs up, at least watch the video till the end. That's fine with me. So we're going to get a thumbnail, you guys, bad. and we're just going to do what we do. So we're going to get a thumbnail in three, two, one. 
know what I mean? Peaches and cream. All right, y'all. Hanging on the kid. I, I, I just can't even take listen, it anymore. Listen, 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 so listen. how was y'all Thanksgiving? Like, I want to know. And I'm going to let y'all get a good bite. Let me get a good a good scoop. Yours ain't going to be better than mine. This is not a competition here. But if you want it to be. Here, let me let me give them a scoop. For, all right, well, you give them a scoop. I'm going to give me a scoop. Y'all take y'all first bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Robin. Y'all. And the ice cream just brings the taste buds out of it. I was going to say, the vanilla ice cream sets it off. Like, it really, like, Ooh. sets it I off. See that? Mm. And, y'all, y'all don't have to use canned peaches. Y'all can use frozen peaches as mm -hmm. well. You can use mm -hmm. whatever type of peaches you want, really. Mmm. Big booty though. She got one scoop of ice cream. See the kid? I gotta do like three. Like throw them things. Who in needs there. Who needs three scoops of ice cream? Like, tell me. I, I mean, a pro a lot of y'all probably would be like, yeah, the more ice cream the better, but I don't know. I feel like three scoops is just overpowering. Nah. Like it's just too much for me. Mm-mm. That thing's nice and sweet. Mm. It's really good, y'all. I love me a good Alamo dessert in the winter. Look at all the peaches mixed in with that ice cream. Anything with ice cream mm. is a hit in the winter. Warm with ice cream. Although, babe, thinks I'm weird because I like my peach cobbler cold. Gross. I like it when it's warm. Like, I gotta be real hungry to eat something cold. I'll eat it warm if it's with ice cream. But I prefer for it to be cold. Like, I like my sweet potato pie cold, too. I don't know why. I'm just like a... I prefer a cold person. Weird. Mm -mm -mm. The way this is melting in your mouth, y'all. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Do y'all got y'all tree up? I'm curious. I had our tree up, as you can see, for a while, but... We just finished, like, all of our home decorations. Or she just want to put things up. It's just another day to me, people. Babe is... So, but his birthday is just the best day of the year. Best day of the year. Chris, what's wrong with celebrating Christmas? Like, I don't understand. Christmas is for the kids. Says who? Who made that rule up? This is a time of giving gifts. And spreading the joy. Let the kids go have some more fun. See, the adults, you just go out, you do all the shopping. Exactly, that's the fun part. All the working, all the decorating. It's just another day for me. That's the fun part about it, sweetie pie. You know what I like about Christmas? The food. That's it. I'm so tired of food. Like, I, y'all, I cannot. This is why I be stalling with my videos. Like, when I tell you Thanksgiving took me out of here, I'm fed up. Like, I, your girl is fed up with food. Like, it's just like, what, what should I eat? Like, what should I make? What should I do today? Like, I don't want anything. Like, I just don't. I, like, I'm full right now. Like, I'm just so sick what? of food. <laughs> she ain't even eating that, people. What is she talking about? I can't. Like, she had, I'm like, just three like, scoops talking about she full. I cannot do it. I can't live this way, y'all. Yeah. I cannot. I am full. Word is life. Something wrong with her. Something wrong with me. I'm going to finish mine, right? And I bet money she tried to give me hers. Babe, it's a whole pan. Why would I give you mine? Because that's just you. You don't have to finish yours. You could call it quits. Call it quits? This thing is delicious. Why am I calling it quits? Because your tummy might be full like mine. My tummy full? You bugging. Y'all, I'm full. I don't, I just I don't, don't know. know. What is she talking about? I just don't. I think Thanksgiving just like threw me like, it just threw me in for a loop. Like, I can't take it anymore. Bro, she tried to throw my leftovers away. Like, you, you bugging? 
I hate leftovers in the fridge. Like, completely, utterly cannot stand leftovers in the fridge. But for some odd reason, based on my nail, put that back. I'm going to eat that. Where for that? what? I'm going to eat that. For what? But we really didn't have that many leftovers this year. Thank God. Thank you, God. It probably lasted like a day and it was over. We don't waste no money in this house, people. Mm -mm. I, I hate leftovers. I hate them. Uh, I could take that to work for the next day. Good. Babe is done. I'm full. Oh, she ready to get up out of here. Yeah, I'm ready to get up out of here, y'all. I'm just tired. Until next time. Hey, let me finish that for you. It was so, so greedy. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just wait for him to scarf them couple bites down. Wait for me. What? You want me to end it now? No. I don't care what you Why, babe scarfs those down. I'm going to just close this video out because, like I said... I don't want to just keep the timer running and it's just running for no reason. But we'll be back with more. There ain't more. no reason. Y'all can watch me eat. <laughs> yeah, I can watch him eat. Babe about to take over the channel. This should be his channel because he has a way bigger appetite than I, I me. I told her I'm about to take it over. He always trying to take advantage of something. Uh, do me a favor. Drop down. Hit that notification bell. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can be notified every single time we drop a banger. And if you want to see him throw back a bunch of meals because it sure won't be me. And we'll be back, you guys, with more holiday specials. We'll probably do some vlogging, shopping. You know, I like to get crazy during the holidays. But until then, peace out, Cubs. Peace out, y'all. We about to head to next We about to head. I'm a skeet all the nigga gonna catch me, catch me. And that's my bestie, my bestie, my best friend. Go best friend.